At the office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, we are proud to bring you Education Matters in partnership with EECU, Table Mountain Rancheria, Fresno State, and KC24. Thank you for watching positive stories about education. The office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools serves 32 school districts and is working to support schools and families during these closures. Staff is gathering resources to help support teachers who are now doing online learning. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson shows us how one department is engaging families online. What number plus seven equals ten? Students and parents are working to adjust to homeschooling. Their classrooms shuttered when schools throughout Fresno closed to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. It's Fresno Unified has made the extremely difficult decision to close all students' schools. As we all adjust to working or learning from home, the Office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools says that along with reading, writing, and math, students need a healthy dose of the art. Okay. The role of arts in our schools um, is that it is a, it's an academic area that is not only important, it's absolutely essential that every child has an arts-rich experience every day. And Superintendent Jim Yovino believes that learning should continue while students are away from school. Seven, eight. The Visual and Performing Arts Department at FCSS is focusing on providing resources for families to engage in arts activities at home. We're trying to provide resources in every one of the arts areas, whether that's dance, media arts, visual arts, music, or theater. VAPA program manager Aaron Bryan says some of the resources will utilize online tools like YouTube and blog posts. Others are simple worksheets that can be downloaded Loaded for drawing activities. But we encourage movement, especially in these days when we're, we're all being shut up inside our homes. The opportunity to turn on YouTube and learn a dance. One, two. Doing these things as a family are great ways to pass the time and still engage the creative side of our students' minds. Brian says the great thing about art is that it has the ability to speak to others and bring people together. Hi, Grandma. During this time when people are sheltering in place, um, yep. this is a chance for us to create at home and share that with the world digitally. Kids can, can FaceTime with Grandma and Grandpa, or they could send them an email for those that have internet access, um, and they could send the artwork that they've created, or they could record themselves doing a dance or singing a song and send that. And we know that when we, we share that, we are bringing joy to people's lives, and it's a way for us to stay apart but together. <laughs> New resources for families will be posted every Wednesday at vapa.fcoe.org. And Brian says whether it is art, music, or dance, families are being encouraged to share their creative work via social media using the hashtag create at home. It is bringing together families who are getting used to the reality that their living room is the new classroom. For Education Matters, I'm Winita Stevenson, KC24, local news that matters. And again, we can turn off the TV now, right? So you can find all those resources. Again, here is that website, vapa.fcoe.org, and you can share your creative work with the hashtag CreateAtHome. Great, Great idea. I, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm.